Friday morning. It's like 6.30 a.m. I'm on my way to the gym, right? Pumped up, got my monster in hand. I see that like the flat tire sign goes on in my car. Come to the gas station, put some air in my back tire because that one was like flat basically. Shout out to all of you on Twitter who didn't answer me when I asked if it was flat. Fill that one up. So I go to fill out the front one because it looked a little, you know, whatever. I figured it could use air. doesn't matter. Also, how are you supposed to know how long to keep this shit in? I feel like it's just going to pop what I'm doing. I keep it in for like a, two minutes at a time. So that one, I put it in and I take the air thing out. A little piece inside, like, you know, you screw this off, but then there's like these, a little, like a sensor, I guess, inside of it. I ripped it off and that came off with it and all air starts shooting out and my tire goes completely flat. I don't know if you can see it from here. I don't know what the hell is going on. I thought the car was about to blow up. So now I'm stuck at the mechanic. He has the part. He's going to like install it, but I'm here for another 45 minutes. And uh, yeah, it's a great start to the weekend. What's up, y'all? Saturday morning, around 11. I'm just doing some marketing work, mocking up some new advertisements for the new client on Facebook. I'm gonna do that for a couple hours. And then uh, me and Steve thought of, well, what might be the best or the dumbest idea we've ever thought of. And uh, let me tell you, we've done some dumb shit together throughout our high school and college days. So that's saying a lot. He texted me yesterday. I sent him a gif of like a dog or some shit. And he was like, yo, let's adopt a dog. We don't live together, but we live in the same town. We live uh, uh, literally a block away. And for some reason, the last like two, three weeks, I've wanted to get a dog so bad, right? I, I live with my mom. We had a dog for 15 years. My dog Skippy, a fat little pug. If you like add me on Facebook or if you look at my Instagram pictures, I have pictures with him. He was like, he was the OG, the O O O G of, <laughs> of my, everyone in my town knew Skippy. He was blind and deaf. Anyways, old fat pug. He passed away five, six months ago. So we had no thoughts of getting a new dog, right? It's a lot of responsibility. Obviously. Obviously, but I wanted to get one, right? Who doesn't want a fucking dog? So Steve texts me, and I'm immediately like, yep, let's get a dog. So we're going to an animal shelter later this afternoon to see what kind of dogs we got. I think they actually rescued some dogs from the hurricane in Houston, and they have them at the vet in my town. So we're going to check there first. So I'll definitely bring you guys along when we're checking out the dogs. Other thing, I'll fast forward this so you don't have to look at my nuts the whole time. Well, first of all, if you need any men's clothing, like you're shopping for winter, you have to go to ASOS.com, A-S-O-S. -S. Talk about ASOS on my channel all the time. I have no affiliation with them, but their clothing is really high quality. They have literally everything you could find on their website for very inexpensive, free shipping, free returns and everything. So I got a pair of nice black jeans, two rips in the knees. They look good, but if you get jeans with rips in the knees make sure you're really careful putting the first leg through because every time i do it my foot goes right through the hole and i tear it open these are like became my favorite jeans really quickly they're not like obnoxious with the holes but they have two rips in the knees they fit really well around the thigh area nice taper down by the foot and the knees are just like very minimal rips. I'll link these jeans in the description. But again, if you get jeans with holes in the knees, make sure you put your foot in very slowly the first couple times. Because you're gonna rip right through that shit. Stripping. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Stripping swag. Go tell C. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, let's bring it home today. Put the speaker in let's the get microphone. a dub for our city. I need some tape. Let's put our city on the map. Oh, bro, I got you. <laughs> this is beautiful. If we don't catch a dub here today. Infinite dubs. You heard it here first. Go tells. This is sick. Me and Frank are swagged up, swagged out. We're here with the Go tells. Nah, this is oh, going man. on the vlog, baby. Oh, let's get it. Oh, Three time. Oh. Three time. We need some, honestly, some breakdown from you. Like words <laughs> of experience. Because I know you've been here before. Game one. Go tell season. We're out in center field. Me. Candy main, pepperoni, batter up, let's get it! After one, we're down 10-3, we had a fucking beautiful rally going. The Steen brothers, Joey and George, absolutely destroyed the rally. If you're a betting man, put your money against Steen all the time. They don't call them mush potatoes for nothing. Do I get the K? Run it, Steen! Oh my god, no hustle, no dedication, this is why we lose. So we fucking Steen with the knee, can't even run. Alright, we lost the first game, 30. 28 13 we didn't get mercy though we made it to seven innings so i'm proud of us new game new energy good vibe hashtag good vibe hashtag sunday feels hashtag let's spot what a turn that's smooth 
I'm calling Joey Smooth for that. I'm trying to convince my mom that this dog is a good idea. She's not in favor of this. She's, she's no, not in okay. favor. Okay, we went from the dog into you. He's gonna marry Stephen for medical insurance. Big dogs gotta eat doesn't pay medical insurance yet. Yet. When we start hiring though, you'll get your resumes ready. I'm not gonna give you medical insurance, but. Wait, do I get medical insurance? Absolutely not. What? Dude, you're fine. Like, nothing goes wrong with you. I'm so sick. <laughs> no, you're like the skippy of people. <laughs> In five years, you or my parents definitely are leaving the house. But we'll just take what's we'll left. Here you think if I leave the dog will stay. We'll leave the house for the dog while bed. they move. <laughs> wow! Or we'll just throw it out. She's rattled. If I leave this Fucking house, rattled. I have to sell it to be able to go wherever else I'm going. Why? This is the HQ. I'll get a business loan. We'll just rent it. We'll rent it. And we'll pay the mortgage. You don't have a choice. Yeah, <laughs> therefore, it's just an option. Therefore, I'm your boss. This is, yeah, you're fired. <laughs> you're Go fired. get us a dog. You're fired. <laughs> I'm shook. I'm shook, daddy. What am I doing right now? Buying a dog, I guess. You would. Please get the dog. Monday morning, rain is falling. 1.15 p.m. Finishing up some work. Figured I'd show you this. Another payment from YouTube. It's pretty cool. 318 bucks. And that's from like mid-August until mid-September. So that was a lot higher than my last payment. I got so much engagement during the month of August into September. Some nice little revenue. I wonder if I can hide that via taxes or they're gonna send me like a W for whatever papers they send you for the taxes. So I got a busy week because tonight it's the Giants home opener. I'm going to the tailgate at MetLife Stadium for the G-Men game. I'm also in a wedding on Friday. So I'm going to the wedding on Friday. We have the dress rehearsal Thursday. So it's gonna be a pretty awesome night. Also on the dog front, that was Saturday. So all the shelters were closed on Sunday and by the time we were going on Saturday it was like three or four o'clock and all of the shelters were already closed. Me and Steve are still mulling over the decision because we know we want one right but at the same time we have to be realistic like we both still live in town there's a good chance with that within the year we move out and there's you know there's just a lot of practical reasons as to what we need to think about financially dogs are very expensive initial shots that they need any medical care that you wouldn't expect to have come up leash cage bed food every week you need to buy for it toys all these little things that you probably wouldn't think about but it's you know it's a huge financial investment when me and Steve both still live at home and we're saving up to move out you know so that's something to consider also, just like being real, we don't live, we don't live together, so it's not like, like who's gonna take after the dog? Some days, where's it gonna sleep? We're just gonna try to train it to walk from my house to his house. Yeah, it's still something that we're thinking about. We definitely like we really want one because if I you know if I move out, if I move thinking about moving to California for a few months, if I move out there, is it gonna come with me? Is it gonna have to stay with Steve fully for four months? You know, just a lot of things to consider. Where the fuck am I going? Like, going straight. He said walk towards that. Yeah, they're probably straight. set up over there. The guy probably sets up. So we're about to kick off the campaign with a new client. All I gotta do is hit the button and we are live. It's always like a little nervous with these things. You know, you do so much work and you do so much prep leading up to like a moment like this. Once you hit it, you know, there's no going back. It just runs and you better, you better show results and that's it. Bing, bang, boom, and we're live. It's 8 a.m. right now. I'm gonna head to the gym, get a little titty. Ooh, it's Tuesday. Titty Tuesday, I haven't been able to celebrate in a while. Lately, I've just been getting up, hitting right to the gym, so I'm gonna go get a workout in. I gotta finish my waiver wire post for fantasy today. I gotta get that out, probably by like one or two. I haven't finished it, so I have a lot of work to do on that still. And then I gotta get into some of the, some work for that freelance website, because I haven't really started. I've been so busy with the new client fantasy stuff. And then I want to email the guy that I met at the random Starbucks that owns a protein supplement company. I have to miss the podcast this week with fantasy football advice because I have the wedding on Friday, but I have the dress rehearsal on Thursday. So that sucks because I wanted to kind of be a part of that every single week. And I still will be going forward, but I, you know, I don't like missing. I like to stay consistent with it, but unfortunately that's not the case right now, but I'm going to get my day started. The drop shipping site I use on Shopify that creates all my apparel, the sweatshirts, t-shirts, and all that stuff has a huge offering of different types of t-shirts that you can use, as in like the manufacturer of the t-shirt. They have like American Apparel, Paynes, they have Gildan and 
I don't know, like 10 different types of manufacturers you could choose from. The original t-shirts I was selling, I got samples of them and I didn't love how they fit. They're like a very, very thin cotton and when you wash them they just shrink and they're just like too tight and I, I didn't like them so I mocked up three new t-shirts same design they still have like the little logo right here I ordered them in three different manufacturers I want to try to narrow down a t-shirt that I would like to use going forward so I'm gonna try a couple of these on and see which one I like the best These are what they look like. We got a gray, black, dark gray. So this is Canvas, that's the maker. We got Gildan, which is a very like common t-shirt company. I actually don't know what this one. I'm gonna have to go check online and cross-reference to see which company that is. But I can already tell I'm gonna like the way these fit more than the previous ones just by looking at it, seeing the sleeves and the, the neck loop and stuff. I hate when t-shirts, when their neck is like real big like that. I don't know why, but I'm not a fan of that. So I can see these are already like close knit. So I'm gonna like these better. I'll try them on and let you know. So this is the first one. This is the canvas one. It fits okay. I can tell it's very lightweight material again. The sleeves are way tighter than uh, than I would like. So I'm probably not going to keep this one. Yeah, so this one I like a lot more. It's a lot thicker. Not as like smooth as a material, but it's definitely longer lasting and it fits really well around the neck and it's not too tight on the sleeves or anything. But I like how this one fits just like a very regular t-shirt. Fits good down the waist, good on the arms. Number three, I think we got a winner here. It's super lightweight and it's really comfortable, but it's not tight. Like I love, I like when the sleeves on t-shirts are longer but they're not baggy. It's almost like slim fit around your biceps, but they're still long and they go at least like halfway down. The neck fits really well. They're really comfortable. It's just like a really nice feeling t-shirt. When I was mocking these up, I just like threw the logo on real quick and didn't really pay attention to where I was putting it. So this one's like all the way on the side of my titty over here. Wish I would have uh, paid attention a little more so that like this could be a shirt that I would wear. I mean, I'm gonna wear it, but I'm just gonna have to m mess with the uh, design a little bit more and move it over this way, more towards the center of my chest. But yeah, I think we found a winner in these t-shirts right here so if you are interested in purchasing them they are on the website but yeah they'll be available in a bunch of different colors you have the white logo or the black logo so yeah if you want to support grab a t-shirt and we out what's going on it's wow time f flew right now it's 11 p.m i'm just wrapping up the last of this video it's like 52 minutes actually i have to film a portion of it tomorrow morning and add it in this is the fantasy video for week three i got this out every thursday and then i have a wedding rehearsal tomorrow and the wedding on friday so i don't have any time to really do anything for the rest of the weekend so i gotta have this video queued up i have to have my vlog for saturday finish so this is going to be the last clip for that so i'm going to finish this upload it edit it make sure everything's good to go for saturday that's big so when you make a commitment to those weekly you know whether it's damn i got a big ass pimp on my head i hope that goes away by the way <laughs> you know when you make a weekly commitment to something like that it's also how you gain trust for the audience if i told you i'm going to put out a, a video every week on thursday for the fantasy season and i don't do that people are going to be like fuck this kid i would do the same thing i want to say true to that as a goal of mine speaking of Tomorrow is actually the six month, uh, I guess, anniversary of me leaving my job. So I wanna, and then three months ago, I made a video of whether or not I hit my goals for months one to three. I wrote down goals and I did the same thing for for months three to six. So next vlog, I'm going to go over, which I have written down right here. I, yep, I have my goals written down here. We'll go over them, see if I hit them. And I'll make new goals for the next three months coming. I'll see where I went wrong. If I hit all the goals, if I didn't, what I could do to make sure I do hit them next time, or if I need to reach higher, or whatever, that'll wrap this video up. So if you enjoyed the vlog, make sure you go scroll down a little bit, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll be back the next Saturday. Peace.